In this video, we're going to look at substituting into equations. And before we do that, we're going to have a look at this word here, bid mass, which tells me the order in which I do things. The B is brackets, so I'm going to do brackets first. The I stands for indices. So after I've done the brackets, I'm going to take the index. The index is, if I have 2 to the power of 3, the 3 is the index. So I'm going to do all those powers first, or after I've done the brackets. The D, division. So I do the division next, the timesing, the adding, and the subtracting. So bid mass. Now if you're unsure what I mean, watch the example. So I've got 3a squared, and a is 2, minus b, b is 5 plus AB, that means A times B. So I'm just going to write out what I need to do. So it's 3, A squared is like that, minus 5 plus uh, 2 times 5. Now I'm going to go through bid mass, which says do the brackets first. Now I'll put a bracket around here just to make sure it's not 32. But what it means is brackets, there are no brackets, but I've got indices, I've got this index first, so I'm going to do 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, and now it's 3 times 4, take away 5, plus 2 times 5. Now, I'm going to do 3 times 4, which is 12, I'm going to take away 5, and I'm going to add 2 times 5, which is 10, so unless I've done the multiplication next. Now, here's a little thing. We're not going to do 12, we're not going to do the addition first, 5 plus 10, and then take it away from 12. The, the uh, subtraction and the addition can be done at the same time. So now it's written out like that, I can do it all at the same time. 12 take away 5 plus 10, which is 22, take away 5, which is 17. So when you see this bid mass, Actually, we're doing these two at the same time, and we can actually do these two at the same time. It won't make any difference. So, let's do some questions, and I'll do the answers afterwards. So, you can actually, we'll do another example first. So, I've got this one here. So, I've got the R as 7, the P as 5. So, now I'm going to do the bracket first. So, I'm going to do 5 take away 3, which is 2, and I'm going to cube it. And I want to divide all of that by 3, and then I want to take away 5 again. So I want to do this first, so it's going to be 7, add 2, so I've done the bracket, then I'm going to cube it. This is 8, so it gives me 7, add 8 is 15, over 3. Now I'm going to do 15 divided by 3, and then I'm going to take away the 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5, take away 5 is 0. Now I've got some questions for you. Have a look at these questions and pause the video if you want to do the questions yourselves and I'll just put the answers in afterwards. Okay, 4 times 3 times 4, so I'm going to do this on my calculator, that's 16 times 3 plus 5 lots of b squared, which is 16 b squared is 16, so that's going to give me 128. I want to do the bracket first here, so I'm going to do 5 add 3 squared. And 3 squared is 9, so it's 5 add 9 is 14. So here I've got 3 times 14 first, and then I want to take away the q value, which is another 3, which is going to give me 39. Right, in here I want to do this bit first, so x squared y, so I want to do uh, x squared times y, which is minus 2 squared. Now, be careful with your calculator. Minus 2 squared, like that on your calculator, gives you the wrong answer. You need to put a bracket through the minus 2, square it, and you get 4. So this is 4 times y, so we're going to have minus 2 plus 10 divided by 2 plus... 4 I've already worked out there, times y is 40. So now I'm going to work out this particular part here, which is 8 divided by 2, which is 4 plus 40 
44. Try not to always use your calculator, especially when you're doing this with a negative number. Here, we're going to do this one first. So we're going to get 16 at the end. So we're going to have 20 divided by 10, which is 2. We're going to have 20 times 4 divided by 4, which is going to give me minus... So that's going to be 20 times 4 divided by 4 is going to give me minus 20. So I've got 2 minus 20. Add d squared, which is 16. So I'm going to have 2 take away 20 plus 16. Remember, I do this all together. And I end up with minus 2 at the end as my final answer.